Oh, man. I just finished this painting and I was about to download all the files and I actually downloaded it to my computer and was trying to open them and all the files are corrupted. Corrupted from this camera, corrupted from this camera and corrupted from another camera. So all three views are corrupted or damaged or well, I know I cannot open them. So what are we gonna do? I think I think we're gonna do it again. We didn't have a choice. So let's get started. Here we go. So as I said, I'm going to repeat everything that I just I just said uh, in shooting this video, this demo, uh, and I'm just going to repeat everything. <laughs> it's fun. Um, and let's you know, let's do it. So as I said, I just finished this painting, and all the files were corrupted. So we're going to do it again, and we're going to do another one. Same same image. I can do something else, but I think you know what I studied. It's actually good practice. I studied already, and uh, let's see when I paint a second time how this will come and we may actually compare it both both paintings uh, how they will uh, how they you know if we see a progression on the second one maybe not maybe yes I don't know that's good thing to find out so let's uh, let's let's do it but actually before we start painting before we jump on the canvas I just want to show you and recommend uh, the materials that I'm using for daily paintings. Uh, sometimes I paint on the, on panels uh, and I do my panels myself. I make my panels myself and I'll probably shoot a video, uh, you know, how to make the panels and save money and be actually in charge what panels, what sizes you have. But for studies like this, I normally use uh, oil prime linen, linen pad and this is by Centurion OPDLX. This is nine by 12, they all oil primed. Uh, there, there are 10 sheets inside the pad. All you have to do, just rip it. I already ripped it. As you can see, it's falling apart. So I have several sheets left. And what I do, I basically, I'll take the one sheet uh, from the pad and I pull it. And also I have this canvas, the cheapest canvas that I got I think I got this from Target or Walmart or somewhere. I found the art uh, uh, art section, and there were like dollar something, and I was like, "Wow, this is exactly what I need for my daily studies." And what do you have to do? Just buy, go to you know any like Home Depot or Lowe's, get neutral get, uh, gray neutral or neutral gray spray, kind of spray, and just spray it let it dry and that's it you have a neutral background take your uh, sheet of uh, linen canvas from the pad put it on this on this uh, canvas and use just masking tape and tape all four sides something like this this is actually a little bit smaller this is uh, nine uh, actually this is 11 by 14 this is 12 by 16 I would just recommend 12 by 16s. This is what I'm using for uh, daily paintings. So let's jump on the canvas. So we know what we're going to going to paint. We're going to paint this image, uh, and um, I already know the study. I know I already kind of you know this is the second time I'm doing so. Everything is kind of uh, I'm familiar with the image. Before we start painting again, I'm gonna show you this. I already talk, spoke about this, or I actually already introduced this. This is a timer, kitchen timer, and I love this. Just, you know, hear this. Just listen to this. Is that a beauty? Oh. So this is the... I uh, love it. And then when it's done, I'm gonna give you a buzz like this. Oh man, this is like, this is... This is old style like really old style like me maybe even older all right uh so why i'm using this i want to make sure I'm, my drawing is less than 10 10 minutes make sure my uh oil underpainting is about 10 15 minutes and then palette knife another 10 minutes and then finalizing another 10 minutes so it's like 40 minutes 35 40 minutes so we'll, we'll see how it'll go so Let's jump on this and start painting. So we're gonna set it to 10 minutes. I'll actually set it to 15 because we're gonna... All right, so we're gonna pour, or we're gonna use my 
underpainting minion just a little bit for painting and also for underpaint paint, for drawing and also for underpainting. All right, so let's make the drawing. We're already kind of familiar with the subject, what to paint. So let's rock and roll. All right. So make sure <clears throat> when we're painting, make sure the uh, there is nothing in the center, uh, not horizontally, not vertically. Rule of third or you know golden ratio, and so on and so on. I would normally start with, start from horizon line. So horizon line will be somewhere here. Oops, somewhere here, and the tree will be. So I already have this by. T uh, you know, t using tape, uh, masking tape, so I can get as close as possible. So this is a mountain. So this make sure the mounts peak of the mounts will be right here. Make sure it's not in the center, and then we're gonna dive right here and gonna up right here. So probably something like this. Boom. Ah. No, it's not kind of convenient to paint. So something like this curve. Another curve right here. So tree again. This is a center. This is a center. We want to be somewhere here. But there is a tree. I'm gonna move tree. So this will be the darkest part right here. And again, we have several planes. First plane is close to us. Then second plane, third plane, and the fourth. Fourth will be actual the mountain. So the Man, I just I just finished this and I'm painting as, as brand new. All right, so this will be top of the tree, and I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right. This is this bush, and this bush is right here. And now we have this darker part that separates the bush highlight. Um, here, um, now this is the tree, shadow up under the tree, to sh uh, so let's do this, so this will be our tree, this is second tree here, and I think it's two different trees, not one tree, so So this is really darker right here and this is really dark and this we're gonna wipe and we're going a little bit to the center but it's still on the left side so we can do this This is horizon. Now here is another tree. Now on this, this is the first plane, our plane. So we have dark over here. We have a bush here, shadow. Then we have tree over here. And then we have tree over here. Yeah, this is the highest of the tree. We have some dark here, dark here. I'm gonna do this. Okay, now the second plane we have one tree over here, and we're gonna it's up to here, smaller. And here, and we have some opening right here. And then on the third plane right here, we have big, and we're gonna move it to the left so we have group kind of composition. So this is, actually this is smaller. And I, this is the same mistake I made on the first, first drawing as well. So this will be our and then this will be valley valley right here 
Okay, something like this. So this will work for us. So let me clean this. I know what I'm doing. So we can jump on. We can jump on underpainting. So for underpainting, I'm going to use this brush. I normally use bigger brush, but in this case, this is small painting. So let's use. Just soaked it into my medium and let's start from darkest part so darkest part will be right here and we just block it And also here, we will indicate this tree and this tree. Also, dark part right here. And again, I'm not looking for um, shapes, I mean trees or, I'm not painting trees right now. I'm painting shapes. I'm just, okay, so see this, this is repetition, so we have to break it. And also all the dark, dark parts, dark, uh, shadows or dark, darkest of the painting needs to be connected. So make sure we're connecting them. Forgot this. Okay, so this is dark parts. Now let's, let's go with, Greens. Now, when you're painting greens, keep in mind, if paint, especially if you're painting from photograph, all the greens. Oops! Let's reset it to 15 minutes again. So we're under painting. This buzz was for uh, drawing. So we were earlier. Uh, what I was talking about. Um, yes, when you're painting um, greens, make sure you're adding a little bit of red. I know you're going kind of to brownish color, but when you're painting um, greens from the special photograph, photograph has tendency to remove the reds from the spectrum. So make sure you're adding. So you basically you don't see reds in 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 the photographs. See, it's a saturated, saturated green. Okay, so let's do this, this. Adding green and adding. Now a little bit saturated. Now the first, the first plane is getting kind of greenish color. And a little bit more saturated and I'm gonna put it right here. Then I see a more viridian. And again, we just blocking in or underpainting, doing underpainting. Also, I see some more saturated colors right here, here, uh, here, 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 here. Okay. Now, the grains that goes further, they are getting atmosphere. So the first plane will be saturated with a green, the second one will be cooler, 
and the third one will be even more cooler and the fourth will be completely cool which is uh, blue so we take For example, we take the second plane right here. I'm going to put cooler right now. And further, we're going to get even cooler, right? Like, like here, even cooler. Oops, that's not going to get that. Now the tree, the tree this tree will be basically this color and it's see that this, I'm actually cooling it big time right now. So, and I'm going to actually darker it because right here it's very dark. Okay, it's a mess. I know, but this is underpainting. This is how you do underpainting. Now, let's work on a little bit of a alizarin. So we're going to work on this part. This actually will be a little bit more bluish. So this will be more bluish color and it's, see that's how this is we pushing it pushing it away from first plane and right here so now that one is actually the mountains are getting even grayish that's really grayish color but we know the mountains are far away so they will be, they will have blue because of the atmosphere. So, and then we're gonna do and kind of this dip. But this is a mountain. This is our mountain, and I know this will be actually lighter right here. Again, this is blocking in our sky we know the sky will be really lighter and we have to use white even though I prefer not to use white uh, at the beginning but we just I just want to block it and block it under paint so I'm gonna use this it's okay we're gonna fix it it's fine for it now even though we know it's actually lighter and bluish it's something like this and we're gonna remove it anyway and the same color, I see actually same color coming over here, kind of going. All right, we're gonna fix this and I'll show you. So this is just underpainting to make sure the canvas is completely covered.
I'm using my uh, Temple Noise Natural to soak my brush. Now I'll take my I'll take my fan brush, my trusty fan brush. I love this brush. And what I'm gonna do? I'm going to I'm going to move this paint around to make sure it's drying and getting ready for preparing the surface for this was too dry I mean too soaked not dry too soaked into same as this one I just used too much and I, now it looks like I'm completely destroying right removing everything but I, first of all, I already paint. I know which, what shape is going where. It's, I'm just trying to move this just to make sure it's, it has a binding between canvas and, and plus if we have time left, so this is good. Let's, let's move this around. Yeah, just put too much of the sky. Let's move this a little bit. And this guy, we're gonna move this sky color. Something like this. Okay. So we got let me soak my this brush. Now we get next step is the and we're kind of you know rolling. It's too wet. It's too wet for even for so let me move it. And remove some extra okay that's okay that is okay so now let's use a palette knife because it's might will be my first we can do if you want to use a brush you can use a brush but you need to give uh, about 10 15 minutes break uh, to, for um, medium to dry so I just want to keep going. I see the shapes and it looks okay for me. I know what to do, so I'm going to use it's not a rate start kind of fixing. So I'm gonna use my palette knife uh, to apply uh, oil, it will be much much faster. You can do it with a brush, sometimes I do it with a brush. I actually love doing it with a brush, but you know palette knife will do it much faster. So uh, let's put darks first. And this time we're using, we're not using, we're moving our underpainting medium away. And we're using gel. And we need some gradient. Actually, we need a gradient and let me clean it. And light. We need gradient. We need light. We got light green. Light. Cadmium green. Cadmium green. That's a light. Instead of using mixing with the white, which is more cool, I'm using cadmium green, which is light, light color, to bring the value up. And let's use cobalt. Take this cobalt oops, here and use a lot of cobalt. I would normally use a lot of cobalt. I normally use a lot of cobalt. And ultramarine. If you have a question of what brands I'm using, shoot me a comment. I actually have a video 
on the brand that I'm using in my palette. Uh, colors are on my palette, but you can always ask, and I'll be glad to answer that. All right, and uh, King's Blue, which I really like. And again, this King's Blue is, instead of using white to bring the value of blues, I'm using just lighter blue. So I'm trying to avoid using a lot of uh, titanium. Okay, so we're gonna do a second uh, layer of underpainting with the palette knife this, this time. And we're going to block the dark part. As I mentioned before, try not to over mix your colors when you're mixing. And we're gonna fix it with, let me see. All right. Oops. Now we'll set for another 15 minutes for this underpainting. And we're going to do see Viridian. I see, again, don't forget to take the medium in our case. So this will be our tree, not this. Also, we have dark over here to separate this bush you remember a little bit here a little bit down that this will be our first plane then we have this so this will be our first plane and we have one bush over here and then and I want to make sure we all the darks are connected Now this will be a little bit kind of shadow bud with a green color. So look very again. And I know this is right here. A little bit further we have shadow of this tree but it is actually lighter and we're gonna again we're connecting it with this but it's second plane okay and then the tree behind is getting shadow dark shadow but it will be blue dominate blue will be dominant color so right here it's going to be connected something like this uh, top top of this tree will be like this and we'll fix it later. Now the blue. For some reason, the color crimson and yeah, terra verde, nice color. Sorry, I'm mumbling and under my nose. Uh, I hope you hear what I'm saying. Uh, so now, uh, so the dark part, the shadows, the dark parts, we already kind of. Defined, I forgot one, just figured it out this viridian. And it's right here, this tree. And this will be close, this will be this tree right here. Oops. And maybe here. So you know you want to connect, make sure that all the are connected. Okay. Now I want to put this blue in the valley, so this will be kind of lighter, not 
it has got a too much of alizarin, so I'm gonna fix it with blue color. There's a blue, and I see some viridian as well, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of viridian. Uh, and this will be this plane, blue, I'm gonna separate, I'm gonna add green, I mean gray, and a little bit of white, even though I don't like using white. We need to light it, light it. Okay. And same thing right here. Now, since we have underpainting, this is much easier to move paint around. I'm gonna move. And the top of the mountain is actually, actually getting darker. So we're going to move and put here. Okay. Also, make sure we're not I'm going to fix that. We're not even making sharp edges of mountains. Or anything. As soon as you make the sharp edge, the viewer eye will go that edge, that, that sharpness. So avoid it. All right. So this is done, and the top is we know it's kind of cerulean with lizard. I just want to apply it. So we oops too much. Too much. I just want to apply it so we see the value. Let me get more on this. And again, I'm not going to try to avoid painting mountains like this. So make sure, yeah, see the edges? We need to remove it. No sharp edges. Okay, and the fi final, what we need to do is get the brightest. Ooh, it is saturated. We're not gonna use this. <laughs> That's too much. What we have to do is just add. Yeah, this will use this. We have this color, so we're going to use this. But for right now, we're going to use, we're going to mix another color with a little bit of red. A little bit of red and a little bit of I have Russian paint called Avoratska green. All right, so we know we have this is our first plant will be saturated. So we're gonna make it as the first plane over saturated. How much time we have? It's gonna rain soon. So let's mix a little bit more. And don't forget to add red, right? I'm gonna add yellow, deep yellow. So this will give us a little bit different colors. Oops.
Okay, so we have this bush right here, which we're gonna stand. And we have this. Also, we have really yellowish color right here. This is what we have even right here. And I will do this, I will fix it with a brush. We have a really nice yellowish color right here. Uh, colors right here. And we're gonna move right now, we're gonna move to second plane over here, which will be same, same green, but I'm gonna add we're gonna start adding terra verde and blue. So, and with this color. So this right here, we're moving away, as you can see, right? So it's, and we're gonna, see the how it's moving right away? Um, this so it's still dark all right so this now I mix this color brownish color so this I see this color right here I see this color right here so I'm gonna break okay and the further we go we're gonna add even more bluish color right here and we're gonna mix color for This is the color for this tree. And That's the beauty of painting with the palette knife. You can always shave your mistakes. Shaving, I mean scraping. Somebody's trying to get to me. All right, but I'm not gonna do it. All right, so basically this is, I see right here some beautiful colors, but that are really going through like here through painting and actually right here as well let me get and we have also colors right here to separate some colors over here beautiful colors and here oops and again I'm painting with the tip of the palette knife the tip not whole thing it will take practice to use it okay so at this point, I, th I think I'm kind of satisfied. So we're kind of ahead of time. So let me ring this. I love this. I'm done. All right. 
So now we take our trusty pen brush again. Let me silent my phone. All right, so we're taking our fan brush again and I'm trying to dry it. And what we're gonna do, we're going to move again, move the paint around from and wiping it. I just wanna make sure all the canvas is covered. And also I'm looking for, um, I'm looking to, so the, the canvas right now has the, uh, you definitely see the uh, brush stroke, not brush stroke, the palette knife stroke. So, what we're trying to do with the brush, with the fan brush, is to break it and make it more. And sometimes I think, like, you know, why am I actually doing it? It's looking good. So, why am I actually breaking, trying to break it? But already started nothing you can do and also okay that's more than enough so let's take another brush Let's take this brush and we'll start moving paint with this brush. And we already have the paint oops, here. So I'm gonna mix some. Okay, I see that white strip of light that's actually separate the mountains from and we're gonna do the same thing and even put some sky holes. So this will be our separation. It'll separate and then actual valley getting gradient with blue and I'm normally not that messy I normally clean my palette but since we are doing demo and so this will be the valley and we're gonna do Here as well, wider. We have wider that continues right here. This kind of hole we can put right now, or I can do later on. The wider over here and then again keep in mind this is our study we're just studying the colors if we decided to paint bigger one I just want to know the complex com complexity of painting this is the right word complexity I don't know. all right also the mountains at the top are getting Kind of darker. So I'm not gonna. I'm not going to really separate them, but I'm just a little bit. So, and again, right here. 
and also see some kind of strip this way. Not strip, maybe mountains moving. So not moving I'm talking about. But something like this. Something like this. We can indicate some Okay. There is some light there is a valley, okay? So can put some indication of it. All right, now let's paint this and we're almost finished basically. So I want to paint, oops, put some indication of the light hip right here. So I'm going to do Here, here and down this reading, which will let go in half. So, some indication of tree here, tree here. Also, the, how to paint the dress is side like this. All right, uh, I see some breathing in blue color right here. And I'm going to make this. So, oops. Something like this. So now the edges of the tree are getting light. Light is shooting from here, so this will be lighter. We can actually put a little bit more light on this side. this side and there's the trees on this side trees on this side tree on this side now I'm exaggerating it right now This much, kill it a little bit. So, I would stop right here because this is more than enough for me to, as a study work. All right, maybe a little bit 
and we'll just smooth because this is getting too much. We need to remove the edge of this. Maybe add a little bit of dark here. This is plane, third plane, so we have to make sure it's moved away. Moved away. Yeah, that's it. I think we are done. As a study, this is more than enough as a study. I can compare both of them. I spent a little bit more time on the first one. The second one, I didn't have a patience. <laughs> I just learned, not just learned, I know that for myself, about myself. Uh, when I pain second time, study, I'm actually losing, I'm going more lose way, which is good. You want to be more lose. There is no artist or, you know, People who wants to learn and they come to you know workshops and they want to learn how to tie the paintings they every time all always people wants to lose how to paint lose more loosely so just you know study 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 and study that's how and you know uh, you can do the same thing with with the brushwork uh, it will take just longer uh, palette knife will you know just just much faster so I can apply you know I can apply um, I can apply paint much faster with, I can show you, like, you know, you're fuzzing with, let me mix the color, you're fuzzing with brush, you know, with the uh, brush, you know, with palette knife, all you have to do just come and boom. The only thing is, it's actually leaving some, like, straight lines, which is, you know, can be, on the painting, I mean, on, on in life. So that's only one thing that is kind of you have to come come back and fix it with. Yes, but overall, I mean, I don't like this part, but you know, this is something that can be easily fixed with uh, brushwork later on when it's kind of a little bit, yeah, a little bit drier. Why I start talking? I almost finished. Now I'm fuzzing again. Fuzzing and buzzing. And right here, the lighter. Let's figure this. Yeah, here. Okay, that's it. I gotta have to drop it. All right, that will be all for today. So this is the, you know what? I just, this is, needs to go down a little bit, but, and again, you know you can you can keep going with this um, if you have time if you don't have time this will be enough for as as a study work and then you can you know you can come with a bigger painting and you already know your shapes you know the colors you know your mixes how you paint you know how to put you know and then start putting maybe more details or you know um, not when maybe details but are more organized so this is all for today uh, let me know if you have any questions if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell hit the like or hit the like hit the bell or if you already subscribe to my channel thank you thank you very much for watching my video and supporting my channel stay tuned and i will see you next time please if you have any questions don't forget to uh shoot me a, a message or leave a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and I will see you next time. Here we go.